It's no secret that The Real Housewives of Atlanta just isn't as successful as it used to be. But for whatever reason, there are still millions of fans still sticking around waiting for them to redeem themselves. Whatever that be. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And I've had my ear to the streets listening for credible tea on our favorite Atlanta housewives. So today, I want to start a conversation about RHOA season 14 rumors that I found to be the most binge -worthy. So I've prepared a four part series where we'll take a look at some of the most common questions about our Atlanta girls. Now, in part one, we'll discuss Katie Burris' status on the show and how this latest news about her Broadway gig and the official announcement of her OLG spinoff titled Candy's OLG Project puts her in an interesting position to make the ultimate boss move. In part two, we'll dive into Cynthia Bailey's shocking revelation about her possibly receiving a pink slip after having her wedding storyline snubbed last year, before I give my unpopular opinion about what I think Bravo should do. I don't give a f now, in part three, we'll discuss how Porsche's feature on The Real Housewives of Atlanta is up in the air right now, even after new episodes of Bravo's chat room were recently announced, and several news outlets have reported that Bravo ordered three episodes of a TV special surrounding Porsche's activism and her family life. Before I wrap up this series uncovering why Real Housewives of Atlanta is currently on hiatus with no official date to start filming. And of course, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion about what I think that Bravo should do to get Real Housewives of Atlanta out of this slump and back to its glory days. Now, before we get started sipping this tea, go ahead and like this video, click that subscribe button, and you already know you want to hit that bell button so you officially join me and my binge watchers and are first to get updates about binge worthy videos like this. I'm sitting back pretty and waiting. Ever since Candy Burris stepped foot on the scene for The Real Housewives of Atlanta season two, she has been consistently elevating herself and very much earning her peach by bringing us into her world as a Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter, a proven entrepreneur and restaurateur, all while being Atlanta royalty. Now, sitting as the highest paid Atlanta housewife after being a full-time cast member for 12 out of Atlanta's 13 seasons, it's safe to say that Candy has definitely reached OG status. Well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna say that, guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even still, Candy often faces criticism for being less than entertaining on the show. Candy is boring on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just speaking. But it's definitely quite clear that millions of fans still want Candy Burris around as she is still often voted a fan favorite and she has also delivered quite a few spinoff ideas that have turned out to be quite lucrative for Bravo. And judging by the news of this new project produced with Candy's production company, it's safe to say that Bravo still finds Candy quite valuable as well. There is something that I gotta tell you. Back in May, Bravo surprised Housewives fans when they officially announced the working title of a new spin-off series that we'd been speculating about for over a year. Yes, slated to premiere in late 2021, Bravo announced that in this all-new docu-series, Candy OLG Project, we'll watch as Candy, Todd, and the old lady gang comprised of Mama Joyce and Aunt Nora, and y'all already know Aunt Bertha's gonna be in the building. <laughs> they continue to build their restaurant empire while keeping their over-the-top and opinionated staff in line, all while making their vision come to fruition. The new series follows the staff in and out of the restaurant, witnessing how workplace drama bleeds into their social lives. And I'm sorry, but they had me so when they say Mama Joyce and I'm Bertha. My mother is turning 70 this year. Oh. Beautiful. And there's nothing old in this 
lady gang. No. no. But bravo, go on. <laughs> go. Everyone at the OLG has a passion, be it for dancing, comedy, or just to follow in Candy's mogul footsteps. And these dreams can get in the way of running food and ensuring customers don't leave those dreaded one-star Yelp reviews. And the fact that some are single and constantly flirting with cute clientele and each other doesn't exactly help things either. It's a monumental task to face, but if anyone can do it, it's Candy. Yeah, I don't know if y'all caught it, but this is not no two or three episode commercial. This is not one of those specials where we meet people and then they only do one season or half a season and we never hear about those people again. I can confirm that Bravo has gone all in and they have greenlit Candy's OLG project as a real legitimate TV show. And from what I hear about production so far, it is going to be so good. With Candy hopping on Instagram, grinning ear from ear talking about, I'm so excited that Bravo announced our Old Lady Gang series is coming later this year. I was so sad last year when it got put on hold because of COVID, but I'm thankful for the blessing to be able to get back to it. Y'all already have seen how hilarious my family can be, but just wait until you see some of our team at OLG. I promise that you will be entertained, exclamation point, hashtag must see TV. So naturally, I know that a lot of you guys are wanting to know what I think about this announcement. So here we go. Do I think that Candy's OLG project will be binge-worthy or cringe-worthy? I definitely think that this new series is absolutely going to be binge-worthy and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, I think that Candy's family is hilarious and I will never ever get tired of anything that Aunt Bertha has to say. Could have been a scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the boo. <laughs> she's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. I also think that it makes a huge difference when Bravo gives the backing of a legit series instead of throwing together a fast little special like what we've seen in the past. I think that if Bravo keeps the same energy that they gave Vanderpump Rules, this show is going to be good for all of us. The fans, the restaurant, the network, the aunties, and we might even get some new fans, I'm sorry, some new stars to stand out of this show if Candy keeps her promise because let's just keep it real. It's just something about that black excellence. And if they made stars out of those Vanderpump Rules girls, y'all already know that we got a lot more interesting stories to tell. Did I lie? Did I And I'm ashamed to say it, but I gotta say it. There has already been a lot of drama surrounding Candy's restaurants, and y'all know what I'm talking about. And I feel like Bravo kinda hinted at it in the press release. Yeah, I'm talking about y'all big care behinds, leaving those nasty, crazy Yelp reviews. And I gotta be honest, I mean, it's a little shady because we want to see Candy win and we don't want her to look crazy. But I feel like Candy's restaurant is actually successful. They can handle a little bit of bad, you know, press or whatever. And I'm always here for a cute Gordon Ramsay moment for them to get their shit together in the end. You ain't nothing but a bitch. You got no respect. Now get out. And also, I hate to talk about it. I really do. But... I know y'all remember last year or maybe the year before, you know, quarantine has got us all messed up. I don't know what time it is, but there was the incident that happened at the OG where somebody ran up in there and popped somebody in the kitchen while they was frying fried chicken. We began with breaking news tonight. Just in the last hour, a Valentine's dinner ended in gunfire. Customers just can't believe what just happened around them at dinner. A gunman walked right in and shot three people inside a popular Metro Atlanta restaurant owned by singer-songwriter Candy Burris. I heard two pops. Yeah. And I read. A man walked into the restaurant and shot another man somewhere in the lower half of his body. Two other people, two innocent bystanders, were also shot. The suspect got away. And the suspect took off. Police are looking for that person 
right now. I talked with one customer who showed up to eat here tonight and she could not believe that this would happen here at this restaurant made so famous by the Real Housewives of Atlanta TV show. They was back there cooking and stuff. They just heard gunshots and all of a sudden they see the customers run to the back where they were. So take a look behind me here. The restaurant is now closed. It's been closed for several hours. We have seen a few workers still in there, but police have now completed their work here at the scene. We in here eating, ain't hurt nothing. These folks got the news, crime scene, everything. Crime scene blocking our car. I know, I know. I'm a horrible person for wanting to see if they address this drama on Candy's OLG project, but let's keep it real. We were all wondering if this was some baby daddy drama gone bad when it happened. Anyways, Bravo definitely hinted at employee-on-employee -employee drama going down in their press release. So whether y'all like it or not, it ain't gonna be all good. <laughs> and when I listen to it, I get chills. I get hype. All I'm saying is there is definitely some potential here. And if Bravo plays their cards right, this show could definitely help them reclaim their time and get us excited about watching Bravo again. So will Candy Burris be back on The Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 14? Right now, it's just really hard to say. From what I understand, none of our girls are currently filming the show right now, but it's definitely safe to say that Candy is still booked and busy. She's been filming her brand new show and working on the development of the first all black Broadway show titled Thoughts of a Colored Man that was recently announced. But fans are already wondering if Candy has any plans of giving up her spot on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. As of right now, Candy has no clear plans to hand over her throne. And in this interview that she recently did, it's clear that Candy is at least wanting to be included with the new season. I have so many dreams, so many things that I want to do. And if Bravo continue to capture that, then I'm all for it. Yes, Candy makes it clear that she's willing to share her own life and all of the great things that she's got going on, but I think that she definitely was very careful about how she worded things. Um, more than likely, you know, they didn't, I don't really, I can't really give you any dates on what's happening with Housewives. Obviously, you know, they, they never allow you to announce anything. Right. But they're still putting it together. What they've already announced, what I can talk about is, our show for Old Lady Gang. On one hand, I definitely do feel like Candy could make the ultimate boss move right now and just leave Housewives of Atlanta behind her in pursuit of bigger things that she has going on right now, like that new all black Broadway play and her OLG spinoff. But at the same time, I also understand how sticking around and collecting checks from everywhere is absolutely a flex as well. So as of right now, and this is just pure speculation, I definitely think that Candy is in a really good place to be considered back for Housewives as long as she wants to. And more than likely, I would say that Candy will probably be back for Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14. Comment right now and let me know what you guys think about Candy coming back for the new season. And definitely let me know what you think about her brand new show. Cindy, can I have them popcorn, please? Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed part one of this new series, be sure to stick around for the next three parts as we continue to unpack Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 rumors. Thanks again so much for watching this video. If you appreciate it, leave a comment, like this video, share everywhere you can. And for those of you who've already peeped, you can also share some super thanks with me as a creator to keep this channel going. Ha <laughs> <laughs>